Yeah, I'm responding to uh, to the appalling events that uh, the police force thinks that they can always put upon the people, treating us like herded cattle, just thinking they can do whatever they want with all the little weapons of uh, non-lethal. I like how they come out with weapons. They're non-lethal. You know, it's just right on the cusp. You know, right there, it hurts pretty damn bad. I think it's BS. And it just shows the truth of, you know, out there, of the conspiracy that our government is creating. This false terrorist, terrorism field, this false danger, this false feeling of being unsafe so that they could make a stronger forceful government, stronger forceful military, stronger forceful police force. And that just proves it right there. John Kerry is a liar. John Kerry is not a man. And what are these people saying? Oh, the police, they went by the book, they went by the book, don't they? You know what? Where does it say in the police manual that when someone brings up skull and bones, you have to arrest them? Okay? You notice that once skull and bones came out of that guy's mouth, the cops tackled him. And John Kerry even was willing to answer the question. Someone tell me the police were going by the book. They were told to do something. As soon as something was brought up, you take this guy down at no matter what. Not even John Kerry could do anything about it. But if he was a real man, he would have walked up there, told the police no. Who cares if he's a senator? Okay, senators and presidents back a long time ago, hundreds of years ago, they were fronting the battle lines. And now, today's politician hides behind a podium and a tie and a suit and laughs and whines with devils? No, I don't think so. Remember, John Kerry and George W. are cousins, okay? And it was said that John Kerry did win the election. So why is Bush still president? And how come he's not mad enough to stand up? Of course, of course he's not going to stand up for this guy. If he didn't stand up for himself in the presidential election... And of course, the skull and bones thing. John Kerry is in skull and bones with all the other Republicans. Remember, Democrat and Republican are just, it's just two sides of a coin. That's all it is. It's the same coin, which is two different sides. Trying to mess with our minds. Come with us, the Democrats. Come with us, the Republicans. And it still winds up the same way. John Kerry, you're no man. I'm glad you're not our president. Don't even stand up for the common person. The people you're supposed to protect. Nowadays, the politician just cares about themselves. This shows the government is trying to hide the truth. They're trying to hide the truth out there at any cost. Creating this false terrorism. So that we can have this police state. Martial law. The voice of the person is nothing. The government's voice is everything. And what does that sound like? Uh, does that sound kind of communist to you? Patriot Act, my ass, okay? I haven't watched shitty CNN, crappy Fox News Network, or dormant ass MSNBC for like the past year. And you know what? I feel great. I feel better than ever. And not watching these stupid news programs and reading the paper and getting all these false terrorism alerts just to get some headlines. I realize there's bigger problems in this world. I gotta provide for my family. I gotta pay some bills. There's bigger scum that walks the streets of this country than there is supposedly the people trying to attack us. Remember, this is one of the strongest countries in the world, and we've bragged before 9-11 that there's no way anybody can come abroad and attack us. I love this country. I have family in the war. I support our troops, but I do not agree with why they're fighting. And you can ask some of the troops up there, and they will agree too. But of course, they're fighting for their country. They're fighting for a code. So they don't ask questions. They just do their job. And for the troops, God bless you and I love you guys for that. But it's the big wigs, 
the ones laughing, ha 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 ha, with their ties, in the lobbies, chilling with the insurance companies, and all the other companies trying to take us down, trying to make us roll us up, rumble us up like cattle, send us off, send us off into the horizon, so we never ask questions again. This just proves that you can't even speak anymore. Freedom of speech. What happened to that? Can't even speak anymore. That happened cops tackle you. And what are they protecting? Who are they protecting him from? Who are they protecting Kerry from? Like he said, he was going to answer the man's question. But his hands were tied because someone above him said, take this guy down. As far as I know, Andrew Meyer has been known. He's, up, he, he's not as big as Alex Jones, but he's, he's trying to find the truth out too. And anybody, I mean, these cops followed him, I heard, into there. So they knew who he was, and they knew that he was going to ask some questions like that. He respected John Kerry, said, thank you for your time, thank you for being here, like any man, human being, respectful person would. And then he got to the issues. It's because it wasn't written by Wolf Blitzen or produced by Jerry Bruckheimer came from the heart, it came from the mind. And this just proves that there's something to hide. Because if there wasn't, why are they making such a big deal out of it? Why are the cops tackling a man and tasering him twice for simple questions? To find out what the people want to know. That's what makes this country so great is that we can have diversity like this. That we can have people think this, people think that. With no violence. And there was no violence. The only violence I seen was with the cops. You know what? Things I'm loving this country for are being taken away from us. Think about that. John Kerry, you are not a man. You're just a blabbling senator talking smack. And you know, you go back to Skull and Bones and kick it with George W. and play some dominoes. <coughs> Domino, motherfucker.